Hi, my name is Dr. Tarang Bora. I am consultant pediatric neurosurgery at Apollo Hospitals Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad. Today we are going to talk about epilepsy surgery. Brain can be considered as the biggest and the busiest electrical network. If it is wrongly wired, then there can be outburst of abnormal electrical activity which is called as seizures. Around 33% of all children around the world with seizures are on medicines that are ineffective in curing them. With the advancement in medical sciences, we can today pinpoint the cause and rectify the underlying abnormal wiring in the brain. So what is a seizure? A seizure is a sudden uncontrolled electrical disturbance in the brain that causes abnormal change in your behavior, movements, feelings and level of consciousness. It generally lasts about 1 to 5 minutes before it subsides. Then now what is epilepsy? When a person has two unprovoked seizures, then it is labeled as epilepsy. Only if it was not caused by some known and reversible medical condition like alcohol withdrawal or extremely low blood sugar. Generally, the seizures in an epilepsy may be related to brain injury or a family tendency, but often the cause is completely unknown. How do we diagnose it? We diagnose it by recording the electrical impulses in the brain by a test called as electroencephalography. The recording is generally done under video surveillance for an hour or sometimes up to 24 hours to catch the abnormal electrical impulses in the brain. So what do you do when you encounter a patient having a seizure? So let's look at six things that you can do. First thing is to keep other people out of their way. Clear any hard or sharp objects away from that person. Do not try to hold that person down. The movements will subside after a minute or two. Place them on their side and keep their airway clear. Look at your watch at the start of the seizure and the notice how long did the seizure last. Do not put anything in their mouth. Contrary to popular myth, you cannot swallow your tongue during a seizure. But if you put an object in their mouth, they could damage their teeth or bite you. So what is epilepsy surgery? Epilepsy surgery is a procedure that removes the part or area of the brain where the seizure occurs. A number of pre-surgical tests are necessary to determine whether you are eligible for an epilepsy surgery and how the procedure is performed. Why get an epilepsy surgery done? Epilepsy surgery may be an option when medication do not control seizures, a condition called as medically refractory epilepsy or drug resistant epilepsy. The goal of epilepsy surgery is to stop the seizures or limit the severity with or without using the medication. If you or anybody that you know has epilepsy and has been on medication for many many years, please get them evaluated by a neurologist and neurosurgeon on the feasibility of getting an epilepsy surgery. Thank you.